Why, why, why? All right, so let's jump in. Um, start with a quick review of what we're doing the past couple of weeks. Um, but then I want to jump into a, a new tab that I don't think I've ever discussed and shown you before. Um, it should be a little interesting. Uh, but just to review uh, quickly what we've discussed the past two weeks, a very important Indian of how, what basically, some of the ways that a woman has to become a Nida, what makes her a Nida. What we've established is, is, that, is that you need Hargasha to become a Nida Midiraisa. That's one of the very important things. There's two things essentially you need to establish. Number one is Kenegeta Drasha of Rebbe Kiva, Dambula Kesem. Dambula Kesem gives you a right that when you just find a stain, it's stain, it's on underwear, on linen, whatever, it's a stain, you have a right to say, maybe it came out. As unlikely as that may sound, maybe it was there before, maybe someone else dropped it there. <clears throat> I don't know. You have a right to say that that's what the you said of Dambula Kesem is. A stain is not Metam and Ishmael, so you have a right to say it came from somewhere else. That's number one. That's one way to get out of Nidam Yidaraisa. A second way to get out of Yidaraisa is by not having Hargasha, Shmuel's Drasha. That a woman has to actually feel it. The way we manifest that actual feeling nowadays is either by a woman getting hurt, period, or something diamond to that, a lot of blood at one time over the course of a few days that looks like a period but doesn't look like a period, something like that. That's one way we'll say there was Hargasha. And some of the other ways we, we, we say that there was that there were potential there gosh, or what the rap calls a chazaka that there was hargasha is when something is being done internally that would mask the hargasha, that would render her unable to sense the hargasha. Then we say muksuk that there was hargasha. We we don't we lose that essentially lose that rule um, that that you need hargasha. But the classic examples of that which are bedikas, tashmish. Um, uh, maybe some sort of medical procedure that involves going into the into the vaginal area. Um, anything like that would would render the necessity for hargasha, uh, you know, unnecessary, and therefore say that we're going to name on a uh, on need on need of isa in those instances. Um, if so, so, something like that that involves finding them while very close or in the in the the vicinity of what we call the prisoner, uh, it, and having this physical sensation that masks Targosha takes care of both of these clothes and knocks both of them out because there's no longer a double cast and wasn't just a, st a stain you looked at and found. It was it was uh, while accessing the area, and it also uh, the, the physical uh, what physically was going on masked the would mask the Targosha and, and renders that that you say move. What's that? When do we say that it could be attributed to Maka? So there's two times we would say Maka. If there's if there's dam, if you're talking about a potential need to be drabonan, which we'll get to, I haven't discussed oh. yet. If you're talking about potential need to be then any 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 if there's a reasonable uh, doubt that maybe it was a Maka, you can have on Maka. So when medical exam you can't say that it was Maka? Medical exam is not a, is not is not a need to be drabonan, it's in the Midiraisa. That's I just said need to For need to meet so what you need is a maka you do them. You have to know there was a maka there. Um, and knowing there was a maka there, you need some sort of either assumption. So, like I uh, get a common child that comes up as a pap smear. And the procedure women do it touch it involves touching the um the uh, cervix, cervical area. And that's called that's considered a maka you do them. It's it's known, it's bodhikumanu so that it creates a maka. And some cervical dam comes out. Cervical dam is not dam nida. Cervix is before the before you get to the uterus. So that's considered a maki yudua. Other things generally we don't like to use circumstantial evidence for for to create a maka. Uh, there was you know uh, uh, one example the press can talk about is cave inner kamaka. Just feeling pain is not enough to to be considered a maka. You have to really be uh, bar that there was a maka. Those the, the press can with broader shoulders. Are willing to be more use their judgment a little more. Um, like I mentioned before, but Sinarov is like you know the, the biggest, the broadest shoulders that there are in our area, and he he will he will sometimes say that well, the other person won't. Eh, this is a maka, you know. He, he ask some questions, he'll say he'll be he's confident enough to consider it a maka you do it. But um, generally, we try not to use circumstantial evidence to be that there's a maka. You have to know the way to know is either something that clearly created a maka, like in the case I just mentioned, like a like a pap smear or something like that, or by by doing an internal check and finding finding where the maka is. Um, so Tashmish, for that reason, you can't say maka. It wouldn't be enough just Tashmish, but it's definitely the first place if 
if we if we're worried that maybe Tash was created, oh, here's our knives. There we go. Now we're good to go. Um, it works every time. We have to start before the ninth column. He was probably waiting, Shia. You know, start. Then it came. We have to. And now that's it. Anyone else comes? They're locked out. It's rack capacity. Um, okay. So um, the yeah. So uh, what was I just saying? That that um, yeah. Tasha's. But the first place we will go is to try to figure out if there was a mock end. If we think there's a good chance, but there's not enough evidence, then what I would do is first I call the Dimson Rav and see if he feels like there's enough. But if not, then then we'd recommend well, going to Badekas. So, you could, but that's sorry, that's maybe that's not a right. Yeah, I did a maki yudua because you're dealing with shasta rice, so you need a maki yudua. When we're not dealing with the rice, when we're dealing with the drabonon, then it's much lighter. And remember, the drabonon is very there's a lot of ways to get out of the drabonon. You have to, it was just you have to like be unlucky uh, to get out of uh, to get out of to become a needham drabonon. Once you're dealing, once you don't have any of those two things, the woman just looks down and finds a stain, it happens commonly. Um, or sheets, there's a stain on it. Then you're dealing with potential need of the Darabonon. Whenever you're dealing with the Darabonon, you have to ask yourself, okay, is it um, is it on something white? Because if it's on colored, I'm good. Um, is it on, uh, if, okay, let's say it's on white. Uh, well, that's unfortunate, but okay, next. Uh, maybe it's on a dober that's not Makabal Tomas. What's dober not Makabal Tomas? Essentially anything disposable. Right? That's Makabal Karka. So your disposables, you know, you got your your uh, toilet paper, tissues, pads, like a lot of plastic, and your muslobal carpet, you got your toilet bowl and toilet water, right? That's another. If you don't have that, all right, that's that's unfortunate again. Now you go up to the third level and you try to figure out, okay, is this, is the red part of the stain, the dom, in one place bigger than a gross? Bigger than a gross is bigger than a penny. Um, and it has to be red bigger than a penny. So the muscle, you know, uh, and just today, I look at yourself and says, oh, he's got the stain. He's not sure if it's a penny or not a penny. Shows it to me. It's mostly brown. Most of the stain is brown. There's just, there, there, it's it's being colored red because there's a little bit of dom in there. But that's not solid red. That's a little, a tiny drop of red in there. Um, so then then uh, then you can be made. Well, if you don't have any of those, any of those hetero, it's on white and it's on a double macabotone and it's bigger than a penny, then you try to use, then you know if you can use the maca, then you're stuck. <laughs> Unless you can use the maca or some or some sort of other uh, talias, you can get creative with it, but it has to be um, it has to be uh, reasonable. Um, uh, you said neither the that's hargasha. Neither has either hargasha. Practically nowadays, it doesn't actually have hargasha because women don't feel. What it has is either a lot of dam, like a like a period amount of blood, like a lot, or it has one of the elements that mask hargasha. Yeah. One of those physical things, Badika Tashmish, one of these. That's need to be derisa. In need to be derisa, you lose the you lose you lose these hetero. That's the real key about need to be That's what makes it more bummer. Is that we don't care if it's on color, we don't care if the badika cloth is not the kalatum, it doesn't matter to us. Um, we will uh, we are going to Matama uh, in that case of need to be derisa. Now, also be on a need to be derisa. We'll get to that next. Pash is not, but let's I don't want what I want to discuss. Next is about the color parts of it. But in the case of Tashmish, isn't top that so uncommon that we can assume that it's a maca? Nope. I don't know. It's an, in... Yeah, that's circumstantial. You just brought up circumstantial evidence is not enough to say maca you do it. You have to know there's a maca. You can try to prove it circumstantially all you want, but it's not enough. You have to know there's a maca. Um, so that's what, if there's something that masks her gosh, right? Yeah. For instance, you know, Tashmish, and then you have a red stain. Is this the ice or is this the bottom? If it was, it, it's complicated. So always, always speak to a local Orthodox rabbi if it ever, if it ever comes up. It is potentially a derisa, and it, it's potentially in the category of what we call a chazaka that it's me derisa. So you have so because you have to be chayshish that it's derisa, you lose the coolest. Uh, now it depends. What I what I was just pointing out is that first of all, one of the things you is pointing out is that depends if we can determine there's a maka there, you're going to be okay. But besides that, also how long after Tasha did you find it? If you found it two minutes later, who's to say it was there during Tasha? Right. So now, but one very important thing that 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 people need to realize is if a woman looks at it, it's the middle of her cycle, looks down, there's a little bit of a spot. It happens, right? So she's not a nida. If it's it, let's say it's on colored undo, right? It's fine. She's not. She's probably not needed. Very likely not needed, based on what we just set up. It's just a spot. You know, it's not a derisa. There's no. There's no hargasha there. 
There's no such chasha. There's no there's no masking of the hargacha, and it was found on color or a davar makabel toma or davar shein makabel toma or is less than a gris. But the key, but one important thing to remember is that it is it is. Um, it, it can't be the right thing to do. Let put this way: Pesach have have various dargas and how strong their language is about this, ranging from it's absolutely usher to like just it can't be right to do it. You can't go ahead and actually have tashmash at that time if she's actively spotting, <clears throat> because she's actively spotting. Doing having the tashmash is going to create a situation. We have a chash need to so, and then it's going it, to number one, it's going to cause her to become a nida, or probably. Right, and number two is what are you going to say out if that happens? Let's say, let's say at, right after the Tasha Shmiyad, let's just get a little graphic for a second. You find on yourself, um, as you know, you go to the bathroom afterwards. You find out. Uh, uh, There's a reason not to look. But uh, okay, but but here, let's say you did, and it's one thing to tell you the right when when she's not actively spotting. Don't look. There's no reason to be looking. How? What are you going to do? Oh, I'm not looking. I, she's actively spotting. You know, I, I you will fully have to look. I don't know if you will fully have to look, but it's not. It's it's a lot less pasha to say just go in and be blind. You know, ignorance is bliss in that case. But let's say you did and you found. So normally, what? Let's say that. Let's say that happened any other time. It happens sometimes. It happens. Are you supposed to feel guilty about it? Are you supposed to mark it down in your? We all have our chatas uh, notebooks, right, at home for after this we just built to know when we have to bring a car chatas. All right, you don't have one. What, what are you gonna do? I <laughs> okay. um, yeah. So, are you supposed to mark down in your chata's notebook that I, I was just ball and need to be You know, uh, the answer is there are more addresses, and the one says it's no. You're an oinus. It says there's no reason to think you're completely an oinus. There's no reason to have thought that this was that this was going to happen. So you don't need kapara. There's no there's no shoygig. If you knew you were going into a situation where where there is a strong likelihood that this will happen, but oh I was my plan was to close my eyes, yeah, you'd be five of chatas for such a thing. And the point is not I'm not the the, the point is not the chatas notebook. The point is that it's not something that you can just put yourself in a situation and there's a very homer things and then say, oh you know I I I, I didn't know I'm an oinus. You're not an oinus. The Rama is clear about it. It's just at a time that it's likely she's going to become she's she's going to become an either. You can't do it. So for those reasons, it's always important to, to, to remember, and this comes up very often, you get a shy lump, people say, okay, I will tell, you, uh, tell people, you're not a need, you're okay, you're good, don't worry about it. However, abstain from touch until things settle down, until things clear up. Um, what does that mean, things clearing up? It, it depends, it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not an exact science. Rabbanim like to say 24 hours from when she found it. But it's not exact. So, like, sometimes there's people in situations where there's a lot of spotting, and it's very frustrating, and it may even be creating problems with 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 fertility because um, some women have this have this um, have an issue where they spot around the time of the ovulation. Uh, the ovulation causes spotting, and it, that can be a that can be a, a potential serious issue when it comes to when it comes to having children. Every time every time you're ovulating, you're spotting, and you can't have tashmish then. Mm -hmm. So there, there's like room to like say, okay, has it been how many? Has it been three hours? She hasn't seen anything. Okay, you know, um, may, we we can be more because it's not an exact science. Huh? You don't necessarily do that. You don't necessarily do. It's not a clear halacha. The, the advice is a shayla's chacham, basically. Yeah. That's the idea. Let's well, assume you wait three hours, you wait four hours, you wait twelve hours, and then after my say you see some blood, then she's nidavadai. No, she's not in the vadai. We want to determine we want to determine how do we know how long after Tashmash again. If you find it on yourself, it's it's a much bigger issue. We want to find out if there's a maka. But if we can't if we can't figure out there's a maka, it will be and we'll render her needle. So you want to be careful with it. And again, you know, with the truth is, we as I said before, is correct. The best state is not to look. And so once you're out of that window, I'm much more comfortable telling you, don't look. You're not included to be looking. Stay away from it. Don't make problems for yourself. Um, that's how we. Which uh, chazaka? About looking for after tashmish to know that you have a chazaka that it wasn't from the tashmish. That's a different thing. I don't. That's a much more complicated thing. That's at the beginning of it. It's the first three times. It's um, uh, it's it's based on a sugya, but it's 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 for only for the beginning of marriage. Don't be machzikar is not a roya machmas tashmash. That's a different thing. That's that's a chashash that an isha might be roya machmas tashmash. The tashmash might cause dam to come out, and if it's causing dam to come out, then you have a problem. And you have to create a chazaka. But it's a different. I don't want to complicate things with that. Okay, that's that's a that's a quick review and a synopsis of a lot of what makes what will make an isha nida. Now the other factor. That's important considering what makes Nisha need is 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 the is it done you know what 
is a damnida, that's a problem. It has to be this uterine blood that's lining the side of it, you know, and um, and it's not clear. The Gemara says, very clear, fascinating idea, that, um, uh, I don't know, what's the drush on the, what's the Pasuk? Um, uh, something, uh, in the beginning of the Pasuk, I don't know if is, is in the Pasuk, but whatever. The, the, the Pasuk describes a, a Dvar Mishpat that comes in front of a Dayan to be Mavchin Bein Dam Ladam. What's Mavchin Bein Dam Ladam? What are the two Dams? Where it says, obviously, there's a Dam Tame and the Dam that's Tahar. That means that there's something that's an important. People have a hard time. Like, there, there is a, it, not all Dam is going to make her uh, Tame. And the Pasuk, we're looking for a certain Dam that is this uterine lining blood, whatever it is. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily any blood, and therefore there are dams that are tar and are dams that are tummy. The Gemara lists basically five different shades of, of red that are dam tummy. Um, and it's not important, it's not important what they are. One of the five is black, because black we say is red that was, uh, that, that, that turned black, it was dam shalaka. Uh, but four different shades of red that are, that are problematic, and otherwise it would be fine. And Dora Amaroim, who, who knew, who had the Messiah, who had the Bikiyas, to know how to be Mavchen between it, and would do it, and would say this, even though this is red, this is not the red that is Damnida, and therefore, and therefore you are tar. But already the Gemara says, in the time of the, uh, later Amaroim were not, did not know, no longer had to felt how they had the Bikiyas to be Mavchen, and therefore what came out is that we were Matama any, any shade of red. And that's how weird I was to go up nowadays. Any shade of red is a problematic. Not only that, Lashon that place can use. This is Muslim. Um, many place can be. Yes, if the Shachta, they all use this Lashon. Anything that's night, a lot means. Anything that's reddish. Right? It's uh, it's not red necessarily, but it's night, a means it has a reddish shade to it. Uh, it is a shade of red, is problematic. And therefore, when you're talking about, let's say, a Vidika, and this is any, anything that has that that um, quality to it of being night to um is is going to be a problem. Now, but the person will speak out, I meant to bring a Shulchan Arth and I forgot to bring it. Uh, let's see, I have this, this is just Shulchan Arth, it doesn't have anything else in it. But the Lashon of Shulchan Arth over here is, there, there's a major, you know, there's, there's, there's a, um, a stark and, and, and never-ending color word that's going on in the uh, There's Right, this is not. Uh, this doesn't involve singing and generals or whatever. It has to do with what colors are uh, tamei by anida or not. And literally, a word, wars have been waged over it over the years. Every few years, there's a big hawk and people are uh, slinging uh, things back at other people about it, and it and it it's goes back and forth. Same, uh, the regular uh, color war is like... Yeah. Uh, so this is a different kind of color war, but it's been. Uh, it's a it's an important one and it's been going on for a long time. Any mar that's odom, benim who kaya har beomak doesn't matter how light or deep it is to me. The chain komar is shocher. Black is also a problem. The ain tar. So so we have okay. So fine. So it has to be reddish. Has to be night to let me use. Now here's where some things are interesting. The ain tar. So what is tar? Elamar lava, white. Right. So the Bishyosi says white is lavdafka. White is a way of saying all colors. Uh, that are not red, but v'chein mara yarek, or yarek. Yarek is is either we commonly translate nowadays as green. It's not really green in time, but it seems like they didn't break down their colors as much as we do nowadays. Yarek included green and yellow. Uh, we're both included in um, in in the um, uh, in under that category of of yarek, where we're all green and yellow. That is the example of a color that's fine. Now, one of the big questions that comes up is one, there's something much much more common, much closer to red, that that should have been the example. If they wanted to give you the chiddish, right? Why did they pick green specifically? Price per se, because that's a chiddish. Because it's it, yellow, particularly, especially when you start getting into like gold, the shades of yellow get you close to red. So there's a chiddish to it. Um, so therefore, they therefore they they um, therefore they uh, uh, pick that color. But wait, what about brown? Right, brown is the color. That that should be the example of the thing that's tar. This is a major push. There are, this is a big shell in the pie skim. Um, there are sheet does the lech and the simlas of the opinion that brown is is problematic. Uh, so that is one of the points lech and the simla makes. He says if black we say is red that turned black. Poshkin he says the mitzias is, and you can see this. If you look at the thing, red turns into brown. Red don turns that that color. So red is much more likely to turn brown than it is to turn black. So if we say black is a problem because it was red that turned black, 
then Brown is a problem. Then Brown should be a problem. The answer to the back is, listen, we're not uh, we're not Nevi'im. We go with what Chazal say, and that's it. We do it L'chomer, we do it L'kua, um, and, and therefore, if Chazal tell us, well, there's only four shades of red that are a problem. So Chazal tells those shades of red can turn into black, but they don't tell us anything about Brown. Who are we to who are we to question this and say, Brown is more lefty? Maybe that, maybe, yeah, the shades of red that are not a problem turn into Brown. You know, again, there, there is... It's hard for people sometimes to wrap their head like this look red five minutes ago, and now it happens. Sometimes by the time they bring it to have it's brown, and the ref says it's tar. Uh, is that fine though? Is that that's fine though? I understand. Yeah. Oxidized, oxidized, like that's what happens when it gets oxidized blood. It turns brown. Well, but not all blood brown. will do that. Some brown. blood will stay red, and some blood will turn like so a low tech like color. And I've never seen actual black. We never. Black, I've never, seen black, black, black. I've never actually seen. Again, like, yeah, we don't, you know, we don't question. Black. Like really, like, never been Matamo Well, I like, think Rav Meisher, Rav Meisher already said he was never, it was never Matamo Yeah, yeah. yeah. black both Orc blood turned black. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's what they, maybe they had orcs in those days. You know what orcs are? What? Where do you say orcs? Orcs, Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, okay, so, uh, so maybe that's what they're. Referring to it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like you said, we sometimes we don't question. So if they don't list, but I, I'm just presenting the different stuff. Oh, that's the left from the similar side. He says black, brown is much more likely to be red that turned brown. Um, others come with their argument and they say, hey, look around and you'll find in the Torah, you'll find in Rashi's in certain places that uh, uh, brown and red are very interchangeable. Um, some of the rayas, one of the interesting rayas, is it says, Ace of says what? What was he given? What type of soup was it? What color is lentil soup? It's brown. It's good. A, a salad, a deep cooked lentil soup is brown after it's cooked. Even though, although they call it red lentil soup, sometimes it's brown. What? It's a reddish, reddish brown. It's like if you deepen the cookie, it takes up a lot more. Yeah. So what they say is, what I've heard is one of the fruits of it is, is that the red lentils start off being more red the soup starts off red and then it and then when it's when it's still not fully cooked it's red and then it turns brown so that was probably taining them and all the he was asking for it even before it was it was still raw and he was asking he was asking for it that's how uh that's how uh hungry he was and unable to control his um his uh desires for it. That it was brown. couldn't wait Right, that's uh, that's what rise back. Another rise that says Yaakov, it says Chum it says, it says if Chum is brown, and the brown and the sheep. He asked for. He said, set aside to, to love it. He said, set aside the ones that are spotted brown. Rashi says um, that it was like a reddish thing. So he's also he seems like to be interchanging brown and red. So, so what are you saying about that? So I have a, have a silly question. Why, why bring the article of clothing itself? If you have that and you can take a really good um, solid picture, you have to say that it was red, but you don't want to do that. What do you, you mean? Wanna, meaning what you it? need to know, by the time it comes there, it's going to be yeah. oxidized, and you won't be able to tell whether it was red or not. Right. Yeah. So why wait till then? You can, the, uh, uh, someone who's trained in Myers, that's good, trained in Myers, is trained to be able to tell. There will be a tinge of red usually left over. If it was really red, I went I mean, around. They, there they, will they, be a shred of shade. They can't rely upon the photo or anything of that. They have to actually see. It could, I mean, it depends what colors you're talking about. You know, if something's very obviously not, but a brown, I would, if something in a photo is brown, I, I wouldn't really rely on it. Maybe during COVID, in lockdown, you had a perception to have like photos instead. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you, you could more. It depends. It depends. During COVID, it did become more accepted to to use pictures for it. Research. Generally, what I do and other people do is if something's clear to me from the picture, and you get a certain picture, it's being used to. The pictures, by the way, make it worse. The pictures make the cut. The picture, the the part of the job, it's not a real picture, right? These people, you know, it's it's um, it's, it's computer uh, synthesized, what computer generator. It's translating what it sees. It's not an actual picture, like. Um, so uh, so it part of what their jobs do is to make colors pop. So they will a lot of times pull out. Like try to make it um, look more colorful than it is. Um, so they, they, in a way, they make them more hummer, um, the pictures. But if generally, if it's anywhere close to a Shiloh in a picture, what I'd say is we got to bring it in. Um, sometimes if someone's stuck in the middle of nowhere, they might have no eight. So you know, to, okay, you know, you have to try to do your best to try to darn it. But um, um, I try to just, you know say take as many lights as you can, you know, in different lights and whatever. And just shine light for them. So you have pretty. It doesn't have these amp like. Right. Um, but um, but in general, as long anywhere close. Sunlight. 
there is you're only supposed to see it during the day, but we also we look at night and, and we, we do look at the lights if you get a, if you get a certain bikias on it. Again, it depends on the thing. If it's when 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 it's a tough shayla, when it's a close, then you're only supposed to really look at it in sunlight and, and be looking at it in person. And then you're really not supposed to be basking on it. Uh you're not supposed to be basking at night and in you know in uh in uh whatever these kind of lights. Um, but if it's something that you feel is clear, you can do it the same way you could do it at night. A place could, could give you a psaac at night if he thinks it's clear one way or another. Um, it's the same thing, it just depends. There's different levels. Um, uh, what else was just I was just uh, getting stuck with the right. There's another Rashi that also talks about uh, the Mishnah says that an Esther that's peeled is possible. So, in fact, the Mishnah, I, ah, Rava said, Haini Esther, the Iglid. If, I, if there's something sumka, which is which is red, he said this esrog that gets peeled that gets red. He actually says because every fruit when it peels turns red. Yeah, they turn, they they, they get avimus. They don't turn. Okay, the, to to a normal person, whatever the signs of hiding, they look at it, it's brown. All right, it's a reddish brown. Right. A, um, uh, these are some of the some of the the big pushes that that brown should be included. Any brown should really be included in it here. The bottom line is, is the standard, even in five O'Kon, about the Shulchan, who's, who's uh, generally known as a Machmer, is Meklov, and says it has to be a brown that's not the Lamimus. Uh, we are not, we are not Machmer about every brown. The Tlachmas Adam says, and Mike Shethik said this also, that on a Hefzik Tara, there'll be more Machmer. On a Hefzik Tara, any brown, any brown there'll be Machmer. That's not generally the accepted opinion either. More Machmer on a Hefzik Tara than, than, than otherwise. Um, What's that? Half sectaria. We haven't gotten to that part. Half sectaria is the bdika right before you start zanikim, right. right? So it's the most chomer bdika. It's also easiest because to do another one. At most, you're losing one day. I know it's not. I don't. It's not a rough job to make light of that, um, and um, and uh, especially women don't usually appreciate when the rub makes light of the one day. But um, you're not supposed to. It's not in front of you. You're not supposed to make light of it. But at the end of the day, there's a difference between between uh, um, uh, making someone lose one day and. Um, no, really. And making making someone lose a whole week. Uh, when it's the when it's the Thursday night half sick, then you really get people annoyed at you if you uh, um, <laughs> if you say if you say no to it, uh, then you're in trouble. Um, but uh, generally, it's usually not the biggest deal. Um, sometimes you get these people like, oh, it's gonna, my, my sister's cousin is, you know, in a week or whatever. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, uh, you can sympathize, but there's not there's not much. It doesn't change much. Um, but um, um, what I was saying was is that is that Ramosh and the Chachmas Adam because of the opinion of the Lechem the Simla that brown is a problem and because of these rayas these build of rayas that maybe again if it sounds strange like why would brown and red be the same color again it, it seems like they didn't they didn't differentiate as much as we do nowadays just like um, you see it's clear by the word Yorok it includes things like wax in it and includes like leeks you know things that are things that are clearly green and grass it includes grass in it and and wax and gold you know are all included under this umbrella category of yard they didn't you know we as time goes on we we differentiate much more and we we break things down more and more uh, and the Crayola you know uh, um, world grows and expands more and more but um, uh, but it seems like in those days Adoim and and Choim, you know they were they were really one category uh, brown and red but that practically the bottom line is most are make on a straight brown. It has to be what we call Neitel Admimus. What's considered Neitel Admimus is a big part of it. That's why, you know, Rabbanim have this Shemesh in it, and, and you, know, you look at a lot, hundreds of them before you start, um, before you start passing. You don't necessarily know what you're doing completely. Uh, and then you continue to bring it to, up the chain until you, uh, um, until one day you just feel confident that you're, that you're completely used to it. But there are certainly um, different messiahs about it. Um, okay. What are we holding here? Okay, a little more. What? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Just, just find out uh, how many things you need you need shemesh for in regards to myers, in regards to shreigim, um, and and for this, and these are the two things. Are there others? Um, in shchita, I think you need. Uh, okay. Yeah, shchita and stuff like that. What else? We have. I know that's shreigim. I know that's shreigim. You know, I mean, you as well. It's very. Yeah, and probably yeah. probably need shemesh and mila. Uh, um, I'm sure there are other things I'm remembering. Sophros, uh, yeah. There's nothing, it's not like you're going to look at a similar Chulchan art that says you must have Shemesh and you cannot pass it until you have Shemesh. is complicated, but Sophros, you can, you can have little bit of repeats. Right. It's not so... Um, 
Yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, in, in here in this in the same siman, it's in Kuf Beches. It describes in Simon Bay is an important you sorry that 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 the Torah gives an emon is to Nisha. The sofrilo. The fact that it says she's supposed to be counting it means that she's Namun. And if she says I saw a Torah color, that's it. You know you don't you don't question any more than that. You're not Mashkiach. General rule, just um, uh, always important. Um, what was I? Oh, I want to get back to that. There, there's a Gishmaka. Uh, I didn't have the, the Shulchan Aruch pin inside. Um, just reminded me. There's a there's a very interesting truth from the Chassam Seifer about this that he says what happens. Shailah says what happens if an Isha shows a Shailah to a Rav, and the Rav says it's tar, and the husband is like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. This is clearly read to me. Um, you know, you showed it to Rav very nice, but like I'm not willing to rely on it. So he has a, a real Shailah. Is the husband allowed to do that? So on the one hand, Allah, you can always be machmer if you want an Allah. Doesn't have to if he believes if he believes Rav's making a mistake, he has the right to say. Rav's making a mistake. On the other hand, he's Meshub to his wife. And he has a Shibut. You now it's part of the Shibut of Ksuba. So is he allowed to be, this is a very important Shiloh, is, is a husband allowed to just be machmer on things and say, what do you mean? It's a, it's a, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be machmer or do or do as, as a she with your wife. Now, right away, see the Shiloh would be a beautiful place to jump in and shalom bias. You know, you decide you have to take your wife's um, uh, things into consideration and her feelings, you're no longer deciding for yourself. Um, and... Um, I once had a friend who went to uh, to Mr. Kaplan, was a Kaplan chair, and he just got married. He was by him as a bacher, and then he got married. And he was coming to ask me about Hechsher and Eretz Yisrael, and he was trying to bavar like why he hadn't come until now when he was a bacher. You know why did he come, and like why is he only asking him now? So he started saying, you know, when he's a bacher, whatever, you know, and now he's married, you know. He wants to take it more seriously. But when this and Kaplan took him the opposite, he's like, yeah, I understand. He's like, when you're a bacha, you just eat the charedas, and that's it. It's much easier. But now you're married, and you have a budget, and it's much harder. You know, you have to know which action you can rely on, and which not to. Yeah. Right. For, yeah. for a while. It's classic, right? So it's, it's complicated, because if you go to her, and this is, I was trying this, and I was certainly not sure, and you said, you have to wait for a person to ever cook them here yeah. from a slice. Another guy in the shit went over to me and said, listen, man, my grandpa doesn't that. So you need to do this. So I promise that guy's house. He's a friend of mine. So like it's it's you have to know that when you answer a question, you have to listen to the question and answer it according to what the person yeah. asked. Yeah. A hundred percent, but yeah. But my point from the story of this was that this uh, that like you know when you're deciding when you're married, you're deciding for two, and there's uh, other things to take consideration. And this is beautiful part of some story for Shiloh that he had. The bottom line is though, so that some service Terence says he says nah, he says about the says any I, I wanted to have his lunch and say he says any Milo in in avoid the Hashem is something a wife should be happy about, it. and even if she's upset about it right now, she's complaining about it. Really, deep down, she's happy about it. And a father husband can recover any form on top of himself that he wants. And if he does not believe. Um, this rub is passing correctly. It's it's completely up to him to decide that this is not this is not a good vidika. So the question uh, invokes a beautiful shalom by Uh The answer says uh, <laughs> says do what you do what you got to do, but only only the chumrah. It doesn't say the kuli. You know, um, it, it's a shaila. You know, it, it comes up sometimes as people go through life and they want to, you know, they want to change the way they are. They want to improve themselves, but sometimes they're they're married and like where. This is what we decided on together. You know, we did. We, you know, we've been sending to I don't know to a certain school, and I, I think we should level up. And you know, for my kids, I see what's going on. But my wife, you know, says this is what we agreed upon. So now what? You know, it's not these. Um, there are many, many, many examples of this. You can take the shot to the next level. If if a wife is Namon, right, and then she's like, "Why do we need a rub?" I'm telling you that right. it's not red. Right. But if you saw it, it could be that's that that's more if she just you know said it wasn't red and then chucked it in the garbage. But now you see it and it's red. She's not if you see it and it's red, she's like, I'm telling you, this is this is this is not red. And you're like, sure. You um, sure, hon, it's not red. You should take it to her. <laughs> Don't just be like, oh, the terrorist says she's Namon. Um, she has an Namonus, but you know, it's like if a guy brings you a McDonald's and says, I'm telling you this is kosher. Don't 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 go for it. Um he told me it was he told me it was good, and I don't think that works. Um so uh, anyway, what was I saying? So you should never want to say the zero colors. But however, the important halacha that comes up, and this happens sometimes, and unfortunately it happens to Rabbanim also, uh, is what happens if she loses the vidika. She wasn't sure. She's a supak and she, and she loses the vidika. So if she says, I was sure it was tar, you're good. I lost it, but I'm sure it was tar. But she says, I was a supak and, and I lost the vidika, and now I don't know. Um, then it's an it's an unfortunate shaila. If it's a bedika, because bedikas are chashash de raisa, as I we're talking about, you have to be mocked for a bedika. She really wasn't sure. It's a, it's a muxik to be a deraisa. It's not chashash, that's the point. 
Um, it's also not, it, it wouldn't be, they say it could be, it could be two different spakers. Um, but uh, yeah, but it's muhsik to be a right. So we're muhsik that way. So if 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 she's really not sure, if she's night it was good, it's a, it requires a little, a little, um, a little hashara sadas. Um, and um, and you have to use sechol. If she's night it was good, it could be one thing. And especially if you know the person and you know, they're always bringing you shilohs that are like, you know, that are totally fine, you know, and uh, she's a nervous person and it's different. What? Like that's what he was just asking. But it's muhsuk. That's the problem. We were muhsuk as as a direct. So it's not it's not just a shush. So, um, that's that's the solution. Around. So it's not just you don't really have a specs over here. Um, and um, but um, but if it's a kesem, that's kesem shenevda. She loses the kesem. You could be that the chachmas adam says uh, that you could be makel. So if she wasn't sure, and it happens sometimes on underwear and all, and it's like one in the watch and it got washed, and she really was wasn't sure um you can make okay you have to use a little bit of of if she's like oh it was totally right and it was big i'm just not sure how big it was well okay i was like oh it was really big and you might have to be mocked when you have to stop being mocked but you know if she's really it sounds like it was a real suffix you can be made well, there's a big shy in the place if she if she like and she deliberately like oh i want i want to get rid of the shy but she knows what she's doing and she knows she's supposed to list her of and whatever she threw it in the wash you know or she threw it out um and she's like and why did you throw it out i don't know did you realize you're supposed to rub? Yeah, I'm not sure. It happens uh, more than you think. Um, yeah. So then, uh, so the, some want to say that's not a, that's not a bdika. That's not a kashim shenev though. That's that's called what we call sotik sart idea. You can't uh, you can't be making that. Others would. Um, so wait, just, in that case, what, will you wait many days? Will you wait seven days? If she's like, sure it was done, if she's sure there was some dom, then then you're right. You don't know, so I would say, what would you say? If you're not is, sure there was any dom, you don't have any proof. Right. I'm saying no. I'm talking about if sometimes they're sure there was dom, they're just not sure it was enough to be dom. Not sure the problem. Wait, may slice. Then you should wait, may slice. Correct. Okay. Yeah, but if you're not sure if it was dom, then then um, so then you might be able to make. Let me say that once you lost, it's like it was it's not here. here. Okay. What? What? Let's so say we say it's that, not here. One is. When do we say that? I'm not sure what that clause you're saying. What, what do we mean? I don't remember hearing that if you if it's thrown out or if it's a. It's like it's not here at all. I mean, I, if you're. We don't have it in front of us. But it was a suffix now. So you have to I don't know that anyone says that clause. But it depends if it's suffix derabon or suffix derisa. They say sometimes it can happen that it can happen to Rabbanim also, where they get a thing and they're not sure about it and they want to take it. They want to wait till morning to see it or they want to take it to someone else and then they uh, misplace it. That's uncomfortable. Either that or they have to tell the person, no, of course. Right, of course it, right, it was no good. It was no good. Uh, yeah, it was done. Yeah, it was done. Yeah. I couldn't see the house so clear. Right. Um, definitely. Uh, I don't see any. I don't see any point in admitting that I lost it. In that point, if it's the same sock anyway. <laughs> um, I don't see it's going to make anyone feel better. Uh, but it's just going to. Um, so I'm not sure I see the chokh on that. But um, but yeah, uh, it does happen occasionally. Um, from time to time. Um, okay. One other thing. I just want to wrap up. This Indian of what makes Nisha Nida. There's one other thing that could create a, create a Nida, which is called Psychas Piha Makar. Uh, if, the, if the uterus opens up, if Mike just says three quarters of an inch, this is the shear, if it opens up, dilates three quarters of an inch, or it was forced open with some sort of instrument, uh, essentially the size of a finger, which Mike just says, which is in his, in his opinion, three quarters. It is three quarters of an inch. Um, the, <clears throat> in that case, we say that the aim psychos markable dam, some dam came out, but our gosh, because of the, the whatever, whatever force it opened, um, and that would create that would create a need to be dry. So even if you don't find dam, it's an aim psychos pia marker below dam, and um, and that would be a problem. Uh, there's a major machlekes between the um, uh, Sam Seifer and Achla Shiva on one side versus Nadivihud on the other side. Uh, what ha is Apsius Bakabloy Dam only if something went in or came out, or if even nothing, it just happened naturally. Naturally, there's a violation of the cervix, which which happens usually in the ninth month as as things and, and certainly during labor as things progress. Um, there was a big shy if a woman went into labor and then and then uh, nothing happened. Is she Anita now or not? That's a big discussion that came up. 
Um, and um, Nachshiva says yes. But Sam Soifer says no, but only because he says it was a false, it was a false alarm. That's it. There was no psichus be uh, But the bottom one is the Metzias says that often we know that that's not the case. There was a psichus be it just wasn't. It stopped, um, and it opened more than three quarters, more than three quarters of an inch. Um, so in that case, no. Who just says since nothing went in or came out, there is no, there is no yisoid of 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 aim of of aim psichus be um below da. Uh, how we pass this, we're really machmir. Okay, there's so just something to keep in mind that it also has to do with medical procedures. If you go to a doctor and a doctor does something that involves going into the uterus um, and forcing it open more than three quarters of an inch, it could make it could make a woman a need to speak to your local Orthodox rabbi about it at the time. Um, generally, usually procedures that involve that are things that are, you know, like at uh, towards the end of nine months. Um, that's when that's when things um, like that, they're usually like things. People want to know about like IUD procedures, putting it in or taking it out. They don't even go in for the muckle. It's it's done through um, strings that are sticking out. Um, uh, some of the infertility treatments that are done also, but it usually does not involve going with an instrument. That's that. Um, that is that size. But it's something that's like, something to uh, to keep in mind that could potentially make you do with that any dam. We're asking aim to smoke a blade dam. So even with no dam, as long as something three quarters of as long as there's dilation three quarters of an inch, uh, it could potentially Make an isha, anida. All right, that that basically wraps up that minion. Uh, future weeks we'll do our focus, design a key and, uh other good stuff. Next week um, there's not going to be shear. Um, I'm going in two weeks. Pick it up from there. Next week, I'm excited. It's not. It's no. no.